Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about how to load XML files in the Power BI window. Ideally, loading the XML files in any technology is a little tricky. But in Power BI, looks like it is tried forward. Let me show you here how to load that XML file to the Power BI in memory. First of all, I need a sample XML file. So I have downloaded that sample XML file from the Microsoft MSDN site where I kept that file in the folder with the name of books.xml. So I can keep whatever the name I want. It has been just downloaded from the Microsoft site and it's there in my local folder with the name of books.xml. Now let me show you how to connect and load that XML file to the Power BI window. So that sample file, I'll give you the link. So I'll show you how to get that file from the MSDN site at the end. Now first, so this is an empty Power BI window. So let's come to this empty Power BI window. Let's click on get data. By default, you don't see that XML option here in the data sources because that is may not be a common option for our, our daily life. In our daily life. Let's click on more. So there you will get actually. So here you have all this, are, this is nothing but all available data sources. Here you can see in the all you have a XML or if you want to go specifically, then you can go to the each and every option. You can see it. Let's select the XML and click on connect. So once you click on connect, it will ask you where is your XML file. So my file is there in the specific uh, some F folder under that uh, Power BI under XML. Let's select that. And let's wait till it loads. So and if the file contains one table, it will show you only one table. So my file contains only one table and freely formatted one table. That's the reason why I'm getting only book. If you have a one more like a teacher's kind of um, a structure, you'll get that file as well. Let's select that. So once you select that at the right side, you can see all the list of columns and data which is available in your file. So once you're OK with that, so let's click on load. And as I told you, one XML file can contain multiple uh, as well. Let's click on load. So once you click on load, so it may take a while to load the data based on the size of the data. It is loading. So once it is loaded, then it is common across the uh, design actually. So how you are designing for uh, SQL sources, how you are designing for Excel sources, you can design similarly in the same way. So if you want to see the data here, you come here and you can see the data. So this is the data you can see like this and this is the modeling you can see. I have only one table I can see here. And if you want to uh, design for like a cluster column chart, let's uh, drag and drop and select what are all the columns you want for this. Okay, so if you want to take some uh, price and some otherwise, you can select that. Not this, Not this. So select this and uh, price and other. Yeah, you can do this. So these are otherwise prices. This is how you can uh, load and design the visualizations in the Power BI. Now, how to get that sample file for the practice? Let's go to the um, uh, Google and let's type sample XML files. Yeah. So once you type the sample XML files, in the first page itself, you will get a Microsoft uh, MSDN site. Let's click on that. So this is a XML continent. So you can just copy and paste in your uh, in notepad and you can save it as a XML. So this is the one which I use for our practice. So if you're okay to create a, on your own XML file, you can create that file and you can use it for your uh, a practice purpose. So finally, this is how you will connect to the XML files. That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.